フルカウンター I hate Vanessa I've been playing with her for a few days now and honestly I'm not a big fan of her I think it's for one main reason well two actually we'll get into it but the first reason is because she's green why did he think it was a good idea to release her as green when the meta right now is just full of reds especially in a world honestly I think if this character was full on blue it actually might have been a decent character because then you can probably single target and get rid of the most super fast. To be fair, she can do a decent job here, but I think with the meta with still red asses running around, maybe not at the higher ranks, but um, yeah, I'm not really too sure what this character is trying to do. Honestly, I think for later on, when we get more PvE content and maybe for bosses, this is where the character might shine in. If you've used the character, then do let me know the team you should be using and what she's actually good in because at the moment, I'm just not finding that much success now. I mean, to be fair, I've done all right with her, but it's not really like her herself do most of the work she's kind of just there and that fourth slot that i'm using her in could go towards any other character and probably even get more success her first skill is just gonna guarantee poison it's uh not bad it's all right i think once again in boss fights where you get super tanky like the actual golem during season one this would be pretty good against but in skill two is the one that's gonna be confused a little bit because i don't see any use in it almost so when you use this tier two skill you're gonna be getting an actual buff called Pe protective blessing which is uh gonna reduce the damage when activated so basically when you block damage you heal back eight percent of your max hp which um i'm not I don't think it's ever proc'd because I think, uh... One, she dies too quick, but like blocking damage is such a hard thing to do, I think. Especially, I think, with our gear sets. So, I do believe this is a bit of a whale character. I think you're not going to get much use after the character until she's basically five star awakening. But you can see at the bottom, when your actual damage block or damage reduction is above 310, you're going to get a 10% damage increase. And uh, yeah, when you get to five star, when it's above 350, you're going to get a 35% damage increase. That is massive. This is what I mean by the fact that you want to get the character five star to get her to do even like a lot. Or damage right so honestly if she's not five star awakening maybe two star you can get rid of it it's just not that good but the problem is getting the damage reduction above 350 and this is where the gear comes into it so this is my best gear set you see the bottom this one right here is 232 i'm not too yeah so what it's uh, not even 350 so i couldn't even if i got a five star i couldn't even get it above the 350 threshold to get the 35 percent damage increase so this is like one of the first characters to come out where like substats and gear is a super important you can see right now when you click on a gear set this one right here is what you want to get so you basically ideally want to roll a bunch of substats with the character to get the damage block basically which um yeah in this economy in this game situation right now it's just uh super impossible because it's the substats or all complete rng and then obviously getting the actual gear sets with actual magic attack is super hard to get and you can't actually reroll the substats you can reroll like the little stats you can get it more basically so you can see you actually can increase the actual damage damage resistance but the problem is it's just getting it right so you may not even get the actual damage resistance and get lr gear the one that you actually want is uh, very hard to get so if you finally get that one piece after farming for let's say like three thousand stages if you don't get the damage resistance it's uh, not gonna be good for nessa so yeah that's why i don't like vanessa very hard to play off once she's green and also it's just very hard to kind of maximize her potential but maybe in the future when we actually get you know better systems in the game uh, maybe we can take advantage of it and maybe she can be a character well invest into especially down the road if they decide to ever buff characters like a year later into the game but uh yeah uh very very hard character to max out where comparable towards noelle get a two-star awakening whack any actual magic attack onto her and boom she's broken right all right so when you're playing pvp the one character you probably don't want to go up against is obviously this little guy here so you can see right now that he is four star i'm not even gonna bother playing this person so we're gonna completely skip over him and uh while the world five star is definitely still annoying i think the fact that asta gets an ultimate and then if they're above eight percent hp to get another goal it's um vanessa is always gonna die turn one where you could probably play around in a world depending on what team you're bringing with something like this, with the fact that there's a jack there and the pretty low level here, uh, we're going to go in and see if we can actually do a lot of damage with Vanessa. Bear in mind, she only has two single target skills. I will say her ultimate, it can be somewhat useful. So we see right now, we're going to lower the stamina, hopefully get attacking first here. Because uh, we are going basic all second here. And we lowered... I can't tell. Okay, no shield. Okay, so we somehow... Did we lower the Noel? I can't remember if she was attacking before me or not. Okay, nice. So, yeah, Noel is uh, basically going last if we load her stamina from the looks of it. So, uh, now, what we're going to do is put the shield on. We're going to give it to Noel, uh, I guess, um, 
Vanessa, because why not, right? I wanted her to do some damage. But yeah, the Ultima had a chance to silence a character, which uh, means we can actually hopefully stop the tier 2 shield from the actual Noel, which is actually like decently a good counter, but it's only 50%. And to be fair, from what I've seen from my testing, it procs more than not on her. Probably saying that now, but it's not going to proc. It didn't proc 6, so uh, yeah, kind of useless now. But at least we can't use the tier 2 from um, the other, so it's kind of okay. Uh, hopefully stun the Noel here. We did not either. Sick. See, yeah, look. See, the shield comes up. So, we actually charmed her there. We actually got that 50 cent charge of proc into her. It uh, probably would have been done. But if we can break the shield, stop the actual... Uh, yeah, okay, nice. Uh, stop her from countering, basically. So, you see, there's, there is some counter play with her. You can actually use her. 65k counter, okay. Uh, this is going to kill everyone. I, uh, I kind of didn't want it to, but... Oh. Never mind. I didn't realize that. Then we'll put it onto... Uh... Yo, Jack. Okay, we should be able to break the shield here. There's no way. 57k one shot, nice. But yeah, the actual skill from the tier two is actually not, not a bad damage skill. It's just, uh, yeah, the actual buff she gets right there, it's just, I, I don't see any use in it. You'll see right now, I don't think I'm gonna get attacked here, but like, she's probably not even gonna block any damage. Look, I think there was a block. Yeah, it's a weird mechanic in the game, I'm not too sure. All right, we'll try to five stun her well. Let's, uh, let's jump into it. Uh, let's see if we can actually charm it. Because, um, I mean, depending on how the bot is, it depends how they organize their bot. Because uh, what you should do is actually... Okay, we're getting countered here because the shield is crazy. And, um, yeah, we used it. Yeah, okay, well, I think we're done. Did we load stamina? We did? We did, okay, okay. Maybe it's winnable, maybe it's winnable here. I I'm gonna put it on my action the wall, because ah, we'll just do that, screw it, why not? Give them more shield. But yeah, depending on how they actually make the Noel, they um some they should actually make the bot actually target the tier two skills so you always put the shield up. And I'm assuming this guy's done this. So hopefully we can charm here. 50% chance. We didn't do it, sick. Okay, so now we've lost, I think. I'll just begin stun. What's the chance of stunning? It's 40% and then this is... Okay, same, but we can stun the whole team. Yeah, might as well. Come on. Not a single stun. Sick. Okay. Yeah, so look. See, we didn't have... If we charmed it, the shield wouldn't have worked. And like, now it's a 5 stun well as well. And we didn't even break the shield. Um, didn't break the shield. Nice. Doing nothing though, almost. Okay, didn't break the shield. Uh, we kind of don't want to target in the world now, actually. Yes, this is using a target. We'll definitely do this. My ultimate might as well. Uh, a lot of damage, but yeah, the counter. The, bro, the fire star in the world. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, the actual Aster. See, I prefer Aster rather than uh, the actual uh, Vanessa. Okay, so now we can get that the prop. But, like, I'm not even going to block damage. Okay, can we stun? If not, we're dead. Yeah, okay, we're done. Yeah. All because we lost a 50-50 with uh, Vanessa. Okay, so we changed our team here because we want to put Vassos in. The one get more magic attack so we can make her hopefully do more damage. But also this is our reason too. We keep getting uh, outspeeded. So uh, we just do this, increase our stamina. So which means uh, we should hopefully go in front of them. And we are now all in front of the whole team. So I'd love to see it. So yeah, now we've put up a shield. We're going to give it to Arkham as well. Uh, and then maybe we can charm it. I think... Um, once again, depending on the bot is, they may actually set up, but you can't tell. So either way, it's uh, still good to use it because uh, next turn he would use it. So he said a two-turn debuff, and we did not apply it. Can we stun her? We did. Okay, nice. That's good. That's good. Because, yeah, if, if he had the shield on, we might have lost. Okay, counter. 90k. Okay, I thought we'd do more. But uh, Vatos is attacking next, so at least... And the heal too. So hopefully, give, yeah, give her the magic attack. So now she's like fully buffed up here. Obviously, we don't have our own passive, which is basically losing 35% damage increase if we had a five star with that to our max damage resistance. But uh, let's do this. 37k did nothing. Okay, so what do we do? I think we're going to use it on to Jack, I think. Yeah, we want to see a damage here. Let's see how much damage. 45k one shot. It's not bad. It's, it's like... I, 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 yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, let's just try and stun again because we didn't charm. Okay, nice. That's double stun. So you, there's a lot you can do in the world, but it's like so RNG. Uh, let's see if Vanessa can one shot here. Uh, 19k. Once again, it's not bad. I just think like... Yeah, you just rather bring a, a better fourth character. Like I think if I brought... Uh, who would be the best fourth character? Even Finral. Finral would just buff up the well. Alright, let's see my damage. Tier 2 here. Uh, I think it's a 40k there, maybe. Maybe a bit more, actually. I, I had Magic Beast on, so maybe I've done a lot. But you can see, Vanessa so far has not really been the craziest character. Do I recommend picking her in, like, the guaranteed? Uh, probably because it's still Vanessa. You still want to get her, right? We don't know when these seasonal characters are going to return. Uh, Asta is actually, from the looks of it, pretty good. 
I think Charmy, I haven't seen too much Charmy. I've not even versed it either, so I'm not too sure if no one's using her or no one's actually got her. But, uh, so once again, we are attacking last time. Speed's so low, so. Oh, uh, yeah, we did see him last time. We increased our actual uh, stamina here. And then, uh, do we get in front? We do get in front. Except, apart from lowers, you can lower our stamina here. Hopefully not, though. Okay, only in Vatos, I think, for the looks of it. Yeah, so that's good. All right, let's, uh, put a shield on. Once again, put on her. We do not want her to die. Uh, and then we'll charm again. Once again, very possible the Noel would just uh, have the bot wrong, but still. We always oh, charm the whole team. Okay, let's go. So yeah, now she can't use the shield for two times, which means we can just hopefully go all in on her. And um, I mean, Radies, if it was a five stunner well, Radies could use the actual ultimate to actually get her shield and you be able to counter because when you're five star Noel, you can counter off any shield rather than, than just your tier two. That does kind of make her broken. Uh, and then boom, do we stun? Okay, we stun uh, two important ones. I would have preferred to charm him, but it's fine. Okay, yeah, so ultimate, once again, they can't use a tier two skill. And we carry the back. Uh, once again, probably would've, I would have went for the world, but we kind of want to showcase, obviously, uh, Vanessa. Okay, let's buff her up here. And uh, let's see if we can one-shot. Who do you want to one-shot? Or try one-shot? Okay, well, uh, Lotus is dead. <sighs> okay, we'll just do it. I mean, Vanessa killing the world. 44k. To be fair, I guess it's red, by the way. That's actually not bad. So, yeah, she's going to heal too, so we have to do it. I could maybe could have one-shotted uh, Kahona. I'm not actually too sure. Okay, how much damage onto Lotus? 54? Yeah, like, she can do it right. Like I said, bro, imagine if you had the passive, though. Like, first and damage increase dead, I would have, like, 90k. Or maybe I can't math properly. Oh, she has a shield, too. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, honestly, this team with, like, a 5 star will be broken. Okay, let's do this. Okay, how much damage? 42k, but there was a shield there. Oh, I know she's sick. I've not really versed her. Or, like, versed her long enough. All right, I think we may have lost our buffs here, but I'm not too sure. But let's actually do a tier 2 here. Most damage attack we can get, probably. 5 k no man. Yeah, I think we lost our boss from our Vatos. Yeah, I think he died, so maybe we removed it. All right, boys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know if you think of Vanessa, if you had any success in using her, or, like, maybe she had a certain team that's kind of niche towards her. I think maybe in, like, a full-on damage over time effect team, like, obviously, uh, for Golden, for example, maybe she might shine a bit more on it, but uh, with him being green, and obviously uh, Noel being the meta right now, it's going to be kind of hard. But, uh, yeah, I do think she might shine a bit more PvE content. Uh, maybe goes against certain bosses when we get more actual PvE content. I think there are some game modes actually leaked to be coming. Uh, maybe that's when Vanessa can be actually somewhat of a good character. But like I said, it takes so much to build her up, takes so much gear, management, and whole thing, and a lot of RG to get her to work. So uh, not worth the investment as a free to play like myself. I mean, you can see the team you found already. People would just rather buff up and build a whole team around the well rather than trying to build a whole team around Vanessa, which isn't really going to work. So uh, yeah, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.